weather can people expect out there? It's going to be pretty quiet. Yeah, cool to start with your run. And then as the sun breaks through those clouds, you're going to be warming up pretty quickly. Here's a look at some of those clouds coming in over the Kern River Valley. This is our Breckenridge camera looking down toward the lake below. Just beautiful shot there here in Bakersfield. As we look off toward Isabella, you can see the clouds that are coming in. But we have some clear skies overhead and we'll continue to see these thin clouds breaking apart. So a lot like yesterday, the sun comes through this afternoon, really helps to bump these temperatures up because they're in the 40s for many of our valley spots, even Pine Mountain Club. Lebec to Hatchby up there at Breckenridge, just 39 at this hour. So as I zoom you out, you see it's high thin clouds coming up from the south. These scattered showers stay in Northern California. That storm system stays up there. But we do have one coming for Thursday. Until then, you see just with this cloud cover coming through, there's also a bit of a wind barreling on by 30 miles an hour at the top of Breckenridge. As expected, it'll stay that way for our mountains through about 1, 2 o'clock this afternoon. And then the last of those clouds clear. Tomorrow's pretty sunny. And then you see our next storm system starts dragging this cold front and a strong feed of Pacific moisture right into our area. The last several systems have fallen apart by the time they get to Kern County. Here we are Thursday morning and it looks like some good to moderate rain for us, especially up in the Kern River Valley, stretching down into Hatchby and Fraser Park. Now the valley really has to fight against our rain shadow. So these rain totals, I think in the forecast model, getting a little carried away with themselves, probably not three tenths in Bakersfield, probably more like a couple hundreds like we're seeing for the west side and down into the southern portion of the mountains. But possibly up to a quarter inch in Tatch, maybe half an inch in Isabella. I think that could be possible. So the, all of this happening on Thursday behind the cold front, we're drying and much cooler. And then as long as we get a good soaking rain, these clear skies for the weekend will give us d dense fog chances. You see more rain trying to come through on Monday. Kern River Valley 65 today, 74 tomorrow. Then that rain on Thursday, much cooler on Friday. We'll watch this system for Monday, but you see in Tatch, and Fraser Park, low 60s for you that night. You both look to be just above freezing, so I'm not calling for snow at past level early Friday.